I'm Yankel, and today we're talking about cast iron, specifically cast iron pans. Now there is a lot of information out there on how to season them, how to take care of them. I'm gonna try and cut through all that noise and tell you exactly what my process is. But first, a little bit about the pans that we're working with. So there are generally two varieties of cast iron pans. One of them is pre-seasoned, and that is the most common type of pan you're gonna find. If you're at Target, for example, uh, pre-seasoned pans are what you're gonna find there. So these are lodges, and pre-seasoned means that they have covered them in oil and baked them in the oven repeatedly until they have this beautiful black sheen, which is kind of a non-stick coating. Now, if you get a non-seasoned pan like this one, which looks a little bit more coppery, irony, that one takes some time to season. Now, you can season it yourself in the first few days by repeatedly covering it with oil and then baking it, or you can do what I do and just use it to cook. This pan I've been using for about a year and a half. It looked like this one previously, but the more I use it, the more it develops this sheen and the more non-stick it becomes. So my recommendation is just use your pan every day. Now I'm gonna give you three reasons why I love cast iron pans and I think everyone should have one. And then I'm gonna give you three tips on taking really good care of them. So reason number one why I have them is heat retention. They get really hot and they stay hot forever. So when you're adding lots of things to a pan or you're searing multiple things, they really don't lose the heat so you keep getting a really good sear. Reason number two is you can put them anywhere. They work on your stovetop, on an induction top, you can put them in the oven, put them on a grill, cook with them on an open fire, literally all the uses you could possibly need. And reason number three is iron is porous and so it absorbs flavor compounds. And basically what that means is the more you use it, the better your food is gonna taste. Now, three tips for taking good care of them. It's really easy. Tip number one, rinse them with water while they're still warm. Now when it comes to using soap, people argue about it. My experience is if it's warm enough or cool enough for you to hold in your hand, you can wash it with soapy water. If it's too hot to handle, water only because the iron might absorb some of that soapy flavor. But once it's cool enough to handle, warm soapy water. Now, again, iron is porous and so that means it's gonna rust if not taken care of properly. So tip number two is dry it thoroughly. Otherwise, it ends up looking like this. That doesn't mean you can't save it, but it takes a lot of work. So thoroughly drying makes a big difference. And if you live somewhere where it's humid, adding a paper towel to the pan when you're done using it will help absorb some excess humidity and save it from rusting, which leads us to tip number three. Tip number three is oiling it after every use. Now I used a refined oil, something like a coconut oil or an avocado oil. Stay away from unrefined oil like olive oil because it tends to turn rancid if it's left out for too long. But after you're done using it, a thin coat of oil on all sides, and that includes handle, base, all the edges. That means it's gonna be oiled the next time you start using it, which helps the seasoning process a little bit faster. So that's my take on cast iron. I suggest if you don't have one that you get one and use it every time you cook something in it, it's adding flavor to it and the next thing you cook is gonna taste even better. One more thing, remember this? Don't put your cast iron pan in the dishwasher. Don't do it. They are easy to take care of. They make everything taste amazing. You're gonna love it if you have it. I'm Yankel, see you next time.